happening guys, Mata Martin is back again. So I'm gonna get into it. A few people have been asking me some questions about how many languages do I speak and why do I speak different languages. Um, that is a story within itself. At some point I'll get into that. But just a quick point um, of what I'm looking at right now. So para la gente que sabe, ya puedo hablar español suficiente para comunicar y pasar tiempo en España, en Cuba, para aprender un poco de, de, de español. Aussi, le français, j'ai passé un peu de temps en France pour, pour prendre cette langue. Eh, italiano, posso capir un peu italiano, per me, adesso non, non posso parlare molto, eh, ma me piace molto questa lingua. Eh, me piace molto italiano. But Deutsch is a language that I'm trying to actually learn right now, guys. It's something which I'm just having a bit of fun with it and just seeing how it goes. Um, just for those that are interested in language learning as well. So right about now, these are the particular um, books that I'm using. The Buchen, um, and this is, or the Buch, because I don't even know how to say it properly. This is Asimil German. Um, this, guys, is one of the staples that I've been trying to use to, when I try and learn languages. Um, this is an audio. Um, it's a little bit dated now, but it does really help a lot when it comes to gaining your vocabulary and trying to get down um, without being over-grammatical. It has a lot of information about grammar, but at the same time, um, it does make sure that you can get some basic things down. Gives you a bit of an idea just for very very basic sentences in the beginning um asimil say that they're due to take you up to a b2 level which you can see there which is coming to like a lower intermediate um and then from there actually it's probably it's probably um a higher intermediate sorry low intermediate would be one high intermediate is b2 um and according to um what i can see now on google to get to a b2 level it takes roughly around 10 weeks 20 lessons a week now what what's regarded as 20 lessons what's regarded as a lesson i'm assuming is an hour but i'm assuming it's saying 20 hours a week at 10 weeks but the issue with that guys that i've noticed again you can learn things in a book but realistically people don't always speak that way and people can tell that it's, it's textbook um you know uh, you're a textbook language learner um, so with that in mind guys, um, that's one of the books I use, Asimil German. Again, I've only been learning this now for probably only a few weeks, not really that long. Um, but I'm just trying to put the time in. Also, um, I've looked into um, Paul Noble. This is a very good um, audio book as well as this is just the um, more of like a companion book, which gives you a lot of basic phrases. It gives you a lot of a breakdown of um, Deutsch to English and um, so you can try to just get to see what the language looks like in a bit more detail and um, I think it is good to have a number of different sources when you're trying to learn a language it's not just about one source and um, but the key thing is always going to come down to make sure you can speak to native speakers that's what ultimately will be about I must admit guys it's one of the hardest languages I've ever tried to learn because for me compared to the other romance languages when it comes to Italian and Spanish and um, French there's more of a flow German I'm, I'm really struggling to try and work out the flow I just can't see where different um, pronouns are coming in and and das in d and there and which one is the right one to choose um, but I'm trying to get there guys little by little um, another book I've been using as well guys this is from um, Benny Lewis anyone knows he's a very famous polyglot this guy speaks I don't know how many languages he speaks I'm sure like at least probably like eight or nine I could be lying I don't know but he's very um, big in what he does and um, we put a lot of time i've actually met the guy as well um i know he spent a lot of time traveling around the world and he never actually had any fixed abode and he was traveling around and now it pays for itself but i'm also using this book and um, this is useful and um, i know some people don't necessarily like his method and he's talking about language hacking and he's saying that it's quite a um um, simple way of doing things I don't think it's simple really to learn any language I think it's more down to more about your drive and your spirit do you want it enough or not so um, for me guys this book um, if you'd like me to get into a bit more details of the book I can but I'm just giving you a quick overview of some of the resources I have but this book gives you a bit more of an example where somebody who is trying to also try and learn a language um, and they maybe have like a Skype tutor so they're just speaking to Skype tutor and giving some basic type of um, how could I say basic type of um, conversation scripts and then it breaks down the conversation scripts to give you a bit more detail of the um, 
um, the actual conversation, gives a bit more detail of how the language is composed, um, but it's not too heavy. Um, some people could say that this is probably very basic A1, A2, which is beginner elementary. Um, maybe so, but again, when you come into a language that you've not necessarily got much of a background in, um, and again, Germanic language is definitely not my strong point. This is the first Germanic language I've tried to learn, and I'm finding it very difficult. I'm, I really struggle to understand as I say, how the language is composed, but I'm trying my best on it. Um, so this is another book. Um, it's useful. It's good to pick up some grammar. It's useful to pick up some vocabulary. It's not necessarily the best out of all the books I have here, but it's still a good book, I would say. Um, other simple books I have, just to give a little bit of an idea. Um, this one is 15 minutes uh, German, which is just basically, you know, more about vocabulary, giving you a bit more of a breakdown in respect of... Um, just little day-to-day -day things you can find out about how to say mother, father, um, some basic verbs. Um, these are okay. I mean, this one cost me a while, probably around about, what, six pounds or something like that. So it's a cheapy, um, but it's a useful book just to keep, just for keep for reference. Um, so realistically, guys, I mean, yeah, I can get into the languages as well if you want me to get into them. It's useful for me because it helps me um, to practice my stuff. Speaking about fragrances in languages, a different kettle of fish. Um, that's a different vocabulary. Um, one thing I've learned about languages is one thing to be a native speaker, which is very different from being a native speaker and being a fluent speaker. Um, I can be fluent in Spanish, but that doesn't mean that I can talk about astrophysics in Spanish. That's not the type of vocabulary that I would necessarily use, nor would I use that type of vocabulary even in English, let alone. Um, so I couldn't explain quantum theory in English to somebody, and nor could I definitely do that in another language which I've learned. Um, so that's how it goes, guys. I'm just giving you a quick overview of um, um, a few things that I get up to. More fragrance reviews on the way. Thank you very much, guys, for the comments, likes, and subscriptions. Are you also learning Deutsch? Why is it that the Deutsch has so many different intricacies? Every language has its own way of doing things, but I've noticed specifically in 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 um, this language in German, it's just got so many little things into it which I can't try and work out why is it this for this situation why is it that for that situation i'm speaking in abstracts but nonetheless that's how i feel with this language right now i'm just trying to learn some basic phrases and even then things just keep um, getting pretty mixed up so um i would recommend guys if anyone's interested in learning these languages out of the books that i would recommend definitely make sure you check out michelle thomas um, again, very famous polyglot and he's definitely doing his thing. Um, also, Asimil, Paul Noble also has an audio um, book, um, an actual audio um, CD, cassette, whatever he's using, MP3, um, just about learning German. As I say, this is more of a accompaniment to it, which is pretty useful. Um, Pimsler, Pimsler is fantastic to learn languages. It'll give you a lot of phrases. It usually starts, starts out with the same sort of a man is speaking to a woman and this is what he says. And it gives you a bit of a step-by-step um, -step guide how to build the language without thinking too much. Um, I've always found that listening to music, audio is one of the best ways to learn languages. Um, and that's definitely something which um, has allowed me to progress and get to a point where I am now. So I'm going to keep trying to learn this Deutsch. Um, it's not easy at all. It's not like Espanol, it's not like Italiano, it's not like anything else that I've come across. But who knows, guys? Then I can try a bit of um, Poruski. But we'll see how that goes as well, guys. See you soon, Mate Martinez. Ciao.